So our household can be pretty chaotic. Kids screaming, dogs running around, a lot of stuff to do, get the kids ready for school. So today's topic is how do you calm yourself? How do you calm down on the inside and figure it all out? That's Lucy, my wife. Hi, Lucy. What's up? What up? What up? Um, yeah. Do you want I me think, to go first? I think sanity is pretty important sanity as parents. Sanity is important. Like trying to find that inner happy, inner peace, inner inner calm. How do you find your inner calm, Luce? Well, it's funny you should ask me that, Tom. Um, I enjoy playing music. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know, even if it's music that the kids like, it just, it, it gets them excited, which makes me happy to see them excited. I feel like the house can be like an absolute chaos, crazy kids home from school after sitting for seven hours straight and they're running wild and all this energy, but they're also really tired and hungry and hangry and all that. Um, They get hangry. They do. And I find that um, if I put on like a soundtrack, whether it's their latest favorite or even like my own music, um, it does kind of like take it down a level or two. I, I need to do it more. I need to remember to do it more. And the kids, our kids like it. Yeah, yeah. Barbara I, Oldest loves soundtracks. Tommy's getting into it. Yeah, no, I, I think music in general is very, our, our family in general responds to it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And um, I do. Um, I love lighting a candle. Now that summer is over, I'm excited because... It's not too hot. I can light a candle. I can open a window. That those small little pieces of the puzzle give me sanity. Uh, the end of the night, after you come home from work, watching Real Housewives, pouring myself a oh, glass no. of wine. Oh no! Don't do that. Wine. Now the argument begins. Real Housewives. Oh. You know why? They are so far from sane. No, they are so, exactly. They are, they are nuts. Exactly. So let me tell you this something. This is going to get my blood boiling. No, you let me it. tell you something. Tell me something. The Kardashians, the Real Housewives, I watch them because they are I'm such- I'm deep breathing now. No, they are such train wrecks that it actually, they provide so much drama that I actually feel better about myself. I feel better about my life. I can watch drama without having to be involved in the drama while sipping on wine and folding the laundry or whatever it is that I have to do that night. So You had me at soundtrack. You lost me at Housewives. Okay. So my whole thing is it's the inner calm. If you yourself, and this is me, this is the way I look at it. If, if I can be kind of calm, and I'll do that with a little meditation in the morning, Starting the day off my the the right way for myself, then I'm in a space where I can kind of handle the kids and the craziness, and I'm in a better mental state to be able to do all that. Um, and I agree with the soundtrack and all that. That's all wonderful. But once you bring housewives into it, I can't even. They make me more upset than pretty much anything well, I can think of. You don't have they to watch. Not, I but I have to hear them. I have to hear the constant screaming and can, yelling, the real housewives from the other room. Ah, rah, rah, rah. You and can the kids just hear that while they're going to sleep. Blah, blah. Just close the door, turn on a fan, and walk away. I was talking That's to the kids the other day about it, and Barbara was like, why do all these mommies throw wine at each other? <laughs> good point. Yep. You know what that makes me? That makes me a good mom. Because she's like, wait, my mommy doesn't throw wine. Yeah, I hope not. I have yeah. such a when good you have girlfriend mom. girlfriend dinners, do you throw wine on them or no? No, I like no? my girlfriends. I have the best girlfriends. They're you do? so awesome. Yeah, so um, much better than the housewives. They are so much better than the housewives. I enjoy watching drama unfold without having to be part of it. And oh my gosh, I will, that makes I will me go so to my grave defending the Real Housewives. So don't they, even. It's play. stressful. I'm playing, and that don't is even so play. stressful to hear their sounds, to hear the bleeping, and to see they walk <sighs> around, and to see what they think of themselves. The Housewives, I can't do it. It's the opposite of calm. You so know what's annoying to me is like baseball, football, hockey, basketball college football college basketball oh who watches year college round. football and who watches year, college basketball year round yeah it's just the the, the, the commentary hi the fans in the background hi this is joe it's a beautiful buck beautiful sound hi this is joe oh, buck great this joe is, buck impression this is the super bowl hi this is joe buck this is oh, the yeah. world series 
Hi, this is Joe, Joe Buck. Buck. Well, there, you're not the only Joe Buck, Joe Buck critic out there. There's a, there's a lot of Joe Buck. He's critics. taken over. Yeah, I can, I remember, I, can, I can get that. I remember when he just covered the White Sox I, World do Series. Do you know? You know, they're starting the Real Housewives of St. Louis, and his wife's on it. Is Joe Buck? So good luck with that. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know more about Real Housewives than me? <laughs> I don't. Oh, I made that was up. that made? Oh, that was okay. completely made up. But that's how excited it got her to know right. that you could see Joe Buck. It's it's a it's a likely story, isn't it? Joe Buck's wife ended up on the Real Housewives. Why don't you like something that brings me so much joy? Oh, but it brings so much tension to the rest of the household. Tommy's hand is clenched it's, in a I just fist can't right even, now. We do a it's video like of this. I fisting. wish the people hearing could see this. If this, I thought this was going to be a light topic, but then you brought up Housewives. Well, and you the, asked we, me what we, I do to keep saying. Recent, I drink wine and watch Housewives. We had, Shoot me. We had heavy topics the last couple episodes. I thought this was going to be a calm one. It is um, a calm one. The, I've never been so calm in my you life. You gotta be the meditation is so much better than the Real Housewives. But all right, I'm gonna play. I've got. I need a minute, so we're gonna play a a little clip. This is Jason and Autumn, who we're gonna call up in a little bit. Here's what they're struggling through. The argument is that in the mornings, my wife likes to play music very loud. I meditate in the morning after I go to the gym, and so my mornings are very sacred to me. I like to be quiet and calm before the storm when I go into work. And so I have asked numerous times to keep the music low, if not off. Uh, that doesn't seem to work very well. Hi, I'm Autumn. I'm not really sure what argument even exists. I don't turn the music on until after he's done with his meditation, although the kids and I have been up far longer than he's been meditating. Then when we do turn the music on, it's just adding to our mood. We get the party going in the morning, everybody goes to work and to school in a great mood. Thus, the argument is, what? <laughs> <laughs> I have some big questions for them to get into right away. Let's start, the, let's start this one out as like not prosecutors but let's just fire off some some real questions them i need some more info okay you got any questions I, lined up i don't approach any couple as a prosecutor i'm gonna well you should you should be approaching these as a prosecutor i i am not a prosecutor you're defending everyone i defend every well i've to, i feel like my defense has mostly sided with the wife's not on ten yeah. not on purpose it's time to play hardball today though Luz. Um, I feel pretty strongly. I got my, I got my uh, <laughs> perspectives. All right, let's. I got call my up. opinions, let's but I'm not going to prosecute them. Let's call up Jason and Autumn. Let's do it. Hey, Jason, what's going on? Tommy and Lucy here. Hey, good to talk to you. And then I have uh, Autumn here as well. Hi, Hi Autumn. Hi, Jason. Hello. Thanks for joining us, guys. So we just listened. So we're live right now. We're we're, we're recording right now, but we just listened to the clip. And Lucy and I were talking earlier just about both of us and how we deal with the chaos of our household, right? And and how we kind of handle that, which led into your topic. Yep. Um, so okay. a couple of questions right away. So we just, we're just going to, I'm going to ask some hard hitting questions. You guys answer them any way you want, right? What time yeah. does the music go on? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. 6.30 music. What kind of music are we listening to? Either. Usually today's hit. Fun. Yeah. Nice. If, if given her choice, it would be Spanish, Spanish rock. rock. Um, but we've already, we did compromise on that. And that at least is not played while I'm here. Shakira, Shakira. She's, she <laughs> is, she, she is, it. she is headlining the Super Bowl. And I could not be more <laughs> I <know>. excited. <laughs> I heard. Autumn just took the kids to a Mana concert last night. So. And Sarah and I already saw Shakira last uh, year. I Nice. That's on my bucket list. Yep. Jason, yep. Jason, leading up to the Super Bowl, get ready for some massive parties in the household starting at maybe exactly. 6.15 yes. a.m. <laughs> yes. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> and then, all right, so Jason, what time do you wake up in the morning usually? 4.40. Nice. That's my kind of guy. I, I was a 4 <laughs> a.m. Not... guy, but now I'm a 5 a.m. Okay, guy. but he's not here. He's no, I, I wake up at 4, gym. I go to the gym, I return by about 6.10. When the kids and I have already been up 
for at least no. 20, sometimes 30 minutes. <laughs> Not that one. That is very But convenient. we don't turn the music on, but being respectful. <laughs> hey, you're not even asked for your bubble yet. I'm offering it out. <laughs> yeah. But we, we know that he's coming home and he's going to walk straight up to his office and meditate. So we wait to turn the music on until he finishes. That is very, very, very considerate of you. Thank Autumn. you. I, I know. I, I know. I don't know. At 30 in the morning. I don't know if I would be as generous of a wife, honestly, as if <laughs> right? it's very convenient to to go to the gym and not be there to wake up. Like Tommy, t- listen, truth be told, full disclosure, Tommy wakes up with our kids. But if he was mm-hmm. like, if he had his routine and he had like a music playlist, I feel like I would be like, dude, whatever you need to do. So you wake up with the kids and I can sleep. You play that music, whatever that. Okay. We, well, we well, wait, wait, wait. So we need more. Yeah, go that, ahead. Jason. Yeah, I was gonna say that happened when our kids are now nine and eleven. Right. So okay. they they are supposed to get up at six thirty. Now they have our gene, and so they've been getting up earlier and earlier. So <laughs> when she says they've been up, they've been up, but they're not supposed to. That's the whole reason why I've scheduled to leave at four forty in the morning is because I do everything I need to do before they get up, but they now enjoy being up early and having the time and whatever else. So, so it, um, it's really, there's not a lot of needs. It's not like she is, you know, feeding them or whatever. I mean, she may move them something, but for the most part, they're very self-sufficient at this point. Well, and I, I gotta, I gotta tip my hat to Jason for, oh. for heading out so early in the morning. Uh, so he can be back at six ten a.m. or six thirty or whatever time that is. Yes, absolutely. Not to help out. He doesn't do anything here. <laughs> yeah. He just hey, gets this the argument, whole routine. This argument is about the music. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. I'm sorry. I right. digress. Let's, let's focus. I digress. Focus. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I I have spent many a years with kids that have rough mornings. They don't want to go to school. They're in rotten moods. So if a little music can pep the, put a little pep in them their step, Make so them let me, oh, wait, let me set a little example. The other day when Jason was bothered by the music, uh, and he was bothered by the fact that my daughter was in our bathroom <laughs> with us getting ready, and he said, Autumn, do you think that you could maybe put your headphones on and listen to your music? And my daughter responded and said, Dad, what about us? We like the music, too. And I said in response to that, Jason, sweetheart, I have a better idea for you. Why don't you just wear super-duper power earplugs Absolutely. so that the three-to-one ratio isn't bothered which, here? Which could be an option. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm considering that. I think I have military. Some- I already have military grade earplugs. So. Yeah. You need some noise-canceling headphones, earplugs. Absolutely. Three to one. That's a hard ratio to, to, to right. bring out. Especially. And, and when you said you it, moved out with. Yeah. Especially if it makes your kids day start on a positive note. Cause I know how much we've struggled as parents sometimes yep. to get our kids, uh, you know, in the right mood and right um, mind frame to kind of go about this. Yeah. Well, I, I feel very lucky that we, since the beginning, and I I'll think give you credit. Fun. I will give her credit for this. My kids are cheerful in the morning because of her, not because of me. Nice. Um, and, but it's not necessarily due to the music. It is, they, you know, she opens up the blinds and it's sunny and everything's wonderful. And it's like, that's how she, you know, she starts her day. That's why I love her is because she's the opposite of me. I don't start my day that way. I like darkness, quiet, oh. meditation. My language, yeah. You know, exactly. Awesome. I, but I, 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 I open up the windows, totally. I sing songs, I yeah. turn the radio on. Um, and that's how I've always started the day. And I am I feel very lucky that they're both super happy kids in the morning. We get to the running club by 7.20 in the morning. They run a couple miles, go to school, They're and they've the never morning. complained. It's just in the evenings we need to wow. work. Wow. That's amazing. I'm, like, officially yeah. inspired to change our morning routine <laughs> for you. Yeah. yeah. Spanish rock. It will work, I guess. Oh. Well, if, if the music sets your wife up 
to be in a good mood and she in effect then gets the kids in a good mood I think there's like a little ripple effect I think I gotta side with Autumn on this one no no doubt about it but I will tell you this Jason my husband that was the wind out of my tail no 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 I will tell you this my husband will not open a single blind or win window treatment all day mm-hmm. Like, it, and, yep. <laughs> unless I'm opening it, there will be no natural light. He will, like... I knew live. there was something special about Tommy. I, I, I it's knew... It's like a dark cave. Well, for me, and yeah, you'll you'll know exactly what I'm saying, Jason. For me, it's if I'm... If, if on the... Listen, our, our house is complete chaos in the morning with the three kids. we got two big dogs. Everyone's screaming, barking, wants food, all that, right? <laughs> um, but if I can be inner calm, I can handle that, right? If I If I'm not... Right. If I woke up, if they woke me up at 7 a.m. and then I just woke up to that and then suddenly I was in that in that mind frame, like I would fall apart, right? So I need that time in the morning where uh, same thing. I want, right. I want it dark. I want it quiet. So I, I don't even meditate for that long. And I don't even meditate well, to be honest. I, <laughs> I still struggle through it years later, thinking about way too many things at once. But just that attempt, yeah. right? Like that's that's everything to me. And that's how I kind of... Um, find my way through the day. What I will say, though, is that we talked about this before you guys jumped on. Our kids um, really react well to music as well, though. So, like, they love soundtracks to different things. Yeah, right so, now they're into Aladdin live action soundtrack. But it, yeah. it changes. Every time a movie comes out, they just totally – Greatest Showman, Wicked. Yeah, they just get yeah. so into it, which makes me into it because they're right. so into it. Yeah, and you got, And by the way, thank you guys so much for traveling up for our show last week, and you got to see that we like to sing on the on the mic as well about about <laughs> yeah, you guys were excellent. Yeah, we are. Uh, yes, well, the, the I one feel thing better than to do that one. I wouldn't even dare. Well, but as far as <laughs> um, because you know, life or especially marriage is full of compromises. Right. Um, rather than somebody winning here. Because I and I'm saying this because I feel like I'm not winning. Um, <laughs> yeah, what are your how do, it, you know? Is it two to three days a week, or is it a week on week off? Like, you know, is what's the solution there to where everybody gives in a little bit and everybody get you know? I that. wait till you're done meditating and you wear earplugs. Yeah, I think well, that noise, doesn't seem to be uh, noise canceling headphones. The fact that she's not blasting it while you're meditating is very considerate. I, uh, uh, you're a you better wife. You're a better wife than I am, Autumn. I think. <laughs> well, but, so there is uh, one other factor: is yes. that she has difficulty your hearing in one ear, right? In both. Well, or in both ears, and so that's also part of the situation. Like, so it is, you know, loud to her. Is it maybe a different decibel than what's loud to somebody else? Right. But she's still- that is a factor because I, I'm not, you know, when the music is, is um, not as loud, I don't get as bothered, but it's, we're really talking about loud music here. And so, you know, if I really want to put more of the argument in, it's also sometimes our windows are open and not every neighbor is up at six thirty in the We've morning. We've never once had a single complaint. Cause they're scared of you. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. No. Oh, okay. No. So two to three times a week, we turn down the music. Well, actually, it's not even our our. Well, our... yeah. So the way so the way the show works is we're gonna we're gonna put a vote up for the audience, and then we'll notify you guys of the results, and that's the way you'll live your life after that. <laughs> so that's just okay. generally speaking how that how this whole thing works. But I, I will say there's like it's all like I, I'm taking notes here. It's like. It's just it's a few decibels. It's a few minutes. You know, it's six ten. It's six thirty. It's he a couple is legit. decibels. He's legit. Lower or higher. I'm it. trying to get to the bottom of this thing because he, he legit has notes. I like yeah, that he's I've got writing times down. Written down. I've got your kids' ages written down for no reason. They're nine and eleven. Yeah. Um, six ten. He starts meditating. Six thirty. The music goes on. If I could guarantee happy kids in the morning, I would do just about anything because I've I've experienced. <laughs> So many mornings of unhappy kids that I am willing to, I would, I would, I would do. Yeah. I'm just excited because it sounds like their family is very close to the perfect morning. Literally. Like everything is going right, except for a couple little tiny things. It's envious. So you guys could turn this into the greatest morning any family could ever have. And it sounds like you're you're able to replicate it every day, which is astounding. Well, the greatest morning ever, you're talking about for three of them. 
Yeah, not we, for the fourth we'll one. But, but three still, of us. Yeah, but you like still, five still, days a week. That's a C. That's a C. That's seventy-five percent. That's a C. Wait, in, wait, wait, in Jason. But, but you get about a, it. We're all happy with that. And but Jason, you get a workout in and a meditation in. That you're not exactly losing in this morning nope. routine. If we can whoa, find, whoa, whoa. if we can find the right rotation, you guys could write a book on how to create the perfect family morning in the history of the world. You know how few people would listen to this because they have to get up at 4.40 in the morning in order to avoid their family and get a workout in? No, my husband so, is that person. That's me. That's me. I'm, I'm, I mean, that truthfully, like, I, I mean, I don't get to work until 7.30, you know, or, or 8 o'clock. So I'm literally up three something hours before I need to be at work. And... Part of that is, is because, because of the timing of the rest of the house, I, I got to get up and do that. So it's not perfect. I mean, I'd love to be able to sleep in until six thirty, but oh, it's I, just not realistic. I, I have an idea. Autumn, this is, this is for you, for your approval. So if, if, if you gave him three days a week of no music and he promised to sing his heart out the other four days a week <laughs> to the music, <laughs> Like all in, like I mean, like I running really around the house, the singing, dance like dancing, this. going like them... we were on stage last week. Can we? Can we agree on right. that? Cool. Like jazz hands and everything. Jazz um, hands, four days a week, I, all I in. Probably fill you guys in on a little bit of how this argument will end up going, <laughs> regardless of the vote. <laughs> hey, because, um, a happy wife is a happy life. That's the end of it. That's kind of a big fat no if I'm getting up with the kids. I think, yeah. What are you talking about with the kids? They don't, you like, it, let me, okay, like, if, if I'm here, let me not, if, whether the kids are here or not, if I'm here and I'm up in the morning, then no. I, <laughs> people will be fed and it, music will be on. So there's, and there's another, there's another thing that is very popular in our house, and that is, Autumn's Way or the Highway. That's That's, that, that theme is and, very popular in our house as well. And we all abide to it. We all, uh, it's part of living in Autumn's world. Absolutely. And as it should we be. We have realized that you don't want to poke the bear. No. And so basically, our lives consist of making sure she's happy. But you see how amicable the bear is to start <laughs> because they're already recognized. That the husband needs to go to the gym, meditate, and all. But I can that. tell you then, you know, the the added thing is there is when she is happy, you're, it is true, it is a happier life. Absolutely. She's, she is much. She is much. Um, I don't know a good word for that. <laughs> <laughs> she nope. she it, it just it, a happy a happy wife is a happy life, and that is actually quite you know when she's in a good mood, it is wonderful. Like everything's everything's very smooth and calm. We just don't want to poke the bear. Yeah. I mean, Tom, would you like to chime in? I feel like you might be able to relate to that statement. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. <laughs> happy wife. Happy... I get it. I've heard the phrase. We're It's all it's all good. I have an But idea. nobody's going to hear this, right? Nobody's going to hear this. So I, I mean, <laughs> the rest of the world is not going to know that this has happened. Yeah, that happens all the time. I get forced into saying something on air, and then she plays it back for me. Anyhow, yeah. um, <laughs> right. you know, here's another. So, Jason, you're. I think you're a sports fan like me to it to a degree so think of some of the top athletes this is so if since we know autumn isn't going to change and i think we can all lucy and i understand and respect that on this issue <laughs> nor should it. she i get it um, thank you <laughs> but you think of some of like the top athletes like tom brady Derek jeter they're almost in a meditative state while they're performing while they're doing something else so you could be singing your heart out but that's actually meditation for you so I think we So we look at that as an option. So you got you go on a 14 day program where you're all in on the singer for 14 days. Oh then it's going to turn into a habit where <laughs> that actually brings you the most common joy in your life. But will it bring up? I love it. Will and I will. Should we put the video on Facebook? I think this is a brilliant idea. It's kind of teaching him to tune us out. I, I, I love the idea. Yeah, I think it's great. Well, if she loves it, then I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, for a true habit, you need 21 days, not 14. Sorry. Yeah. So 21 <laughs> days of all out. Or 10,000 hours. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> exactly. Let's um, do it. I love it. I, I'm actually inspired that 
you can create such a positive atmosphere in the morning. It's something Tom I, and I are I still would, trying to achieve. We, we got to bring the family there. I'll meditate with Jay. I'll go to the no. we'll go to the gym. Then we'll meditate. You guys sing. I'll join you singing. <laughs> we all go to work. I think We're we good. need. Well, I think we need to start. We playing. don't have dogs. We don't have dogs, <laughs> and we don't have a third child. So you guys are have it a little bit more complicated. We'll, we'll bring yeah. all yeah. that. We'll bring all that in. We have yep. some hamsters, but that's it. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring our Saint Bernard puppy, who's 150 pounds. To oh, wow. more morning. Yeah. No, I think I think they're onto something. We need to play Shakira every morning. I feel like it would get me out of bed. Let's a go. little easier. Hey, right. Should we try? Yes. I am willing to experiment because I have the hardest time waking up, you guys, Autumn and Jason. I am I was gonna say play the video, it'll get Tom out of bed. I am the worst. <laughs> I am the I am a night owl to the end. I have the hardest time waking up in the morning. Our previous episode we just taped we had a very heated discussion yeah, about, about sleep sleeping patterns yeah um and but i love shakira so i'm so yeah, what if too. you what if you sh- just started playing shakira in the morning but yeah i'll and, watch her at four as i'm waking up and then i'll no, watch her again with you we're at, not talking okay, about watching no, <laughs> no 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 <laughs> put the sound off yeah <laughs> just just the music, Tom, <laughs> not the video. I know. Right. I know she can dance. Oh, okay. Um, we, her we hips are going, don't lie. Her hips do not lie. We are going to experiment with a little Shakira morning wake up routine, and we are going to get back to you. And if this <laughs> Spanish rock music can get me out of my morning funk, you guys have. I love that. You guys have cured our marriage. Uh, Wait, wasn't it supposed to be the opposite? You I guys know. are supposed to help us? <laughs> Listen, we're trying anything we can, so... <laughs> we're struggling over here. No, we're not at all, are we? No, but <laughs> I, I feel like our mornings are, yeah. are a little rocky. Are a little more, yeah, I love it. We're doing it. We're in on the music tomorrow. Jason's going to be singing. Case closed. <laughs> Case closed. We're I, I will text you early in the morning and see how it's going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And seriously, thank you so much. It meant the world that you guys traveled up last week. We really, really... Absolutely. It was great. We had a great time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Right on. Have a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, babe. Done deal. I think we uh, we helped solve that case. They are so much better off than us. They have a great morning routine. They they don't realize <laughs> how good they have the best morning routine. They then have the kids it. run a couple miles before school. I mean, it's kind of genius because yeah. then like all the energy is kind of yeah. burned off. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Isn't it weird that high school kids and this is the same when I was in high they're school. They're not we high school run, kids. I know they're not quite. But remember, in high school, you'd run a mile, then you'd go back to school. One of their kids is our I know, kids' younger, age, nine and eleven. Yeah. 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 And we are nowhere near that kind yeah. of morning routine. They've got it. They've got it down. I, Autumn and Jason, believe it or not, you guys have winning the mornings far superior mornings than most the majority of the world. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it out there. Scientists, scientists there's been a sci- There's been a scientific study. <laughs> yep. In my previous episodes, I have quoted scientific studies, but with no um, source. So Tommy's made fun of me. So anyways, lots of science. Going on up there in that brain. Yes. Anyways. Well, listen, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, we're going to put some sort of vote, probably about the, I don't know, our family chaos, how to handle it. Well, we'll vote about something more general, not there you, specifically, right? If you wake up yeah. with the kids, mm-hmm. should you have... Do you have control over how the mornings, because it's not, yeah, she wakes up with the kids. He's, right. he's up, but he's gone. Right. She wakes up with the kids. Because if Does everybody found out, if everybody found out she waited to play the music till after the meditation i feel like it'd be a landslide yeah so we've got to kind of phrase it um so that he's at least got a shot right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right yeah (laughs) all right well thank you guys so much for listening uh check out the vote it's going to be on our instagram page that's at mom versus dad show have a wonderful evening afternoon morning and we'll see you next time bye bye